Many people developed their stuttering typically in school. Most of the time it occurs during acquisition of reading skills, when all young children are equally expected to be able to read a certain number of words in a minute, no matter what their developmental abilities are. Placed under this kind of pressure, some students attempt to speak faster than they can do it physically, and as a result, they begin to stupor. One day, this kind of speech stoppage occurs during an important event, accompanied by a great excitement. At this point, all three main reasons for stupor are present. Stress, external trigger, and impossible to complete tasks. Voila! Occurrence of these three factors at the same moment inevitably leads to the development of stuttering, and a child kind of diagnoses himself with a stuttering disease, which, after a few repetitions, develops into a regular stupor, a bad habit at certain moments. Here is another way for the typical development of stuttering. When a child's growth and early development occurs in the presence of a stuttering person. It is not a so-called gene of stuttering that so many specialists have been talking about recently, but the influence of a stuttering relative or friend is to be blamed for the development of stuttering in some children. As the result, the child gradually develops a bad habit of, of repeating speech segments in the way that that stuttering person does. All children in the world acquire their speaking skills by listening to and copying the speech of people around them. Their sounds, tone, rhythm, and especially the speech sequence. Unconscious learning of incorrect speaking occurs especially quickly when a child has to communicate with and copy their speech patterns after such authorities as his parents or friend. He literally mirrors and copies to his brain all the pathological behaviors of the people that he focuses his attention on throughout the day. The next stuttering path uh, is when stuttering may occur at any age as a result of psychotrauma. After um, psychotrauma, not just a young child, but even an adult from the risk group may suddenly begin to stutter, kind of forget how to speak correctly and begin to stupor regularly in certain speech situations. The mechanism of neurotic type of stuttering is simple and has a hypnotic nature. Please find more information about what kind of people we're referring to as being in the risk group and please learn more about this form of stuttering on our webpage, which is livestutterfree.com. Severe stuttering may develop as a result of participation in traditional speech therapy sessions. There are a lot of genuine speech therapists, speech professionals, psychologists. They try really hard to help people who stutter. However, the problem is that the majority of them are equipped with the traditional approach tools which have the goal to help people stutter in, a, in an easier way, but not to get rid of stuttering, not to eliminate it. That's why the following speech therapist's suggestions are extremely harmful. You have a stuttering disease. Speak smoothly. Speak at once without breaks. Prolong sounds. Hit the rhythm while you speak. Speak with chanting. 
Focus on your breathing while speaking. Maintain direct eye contact while speaking. All such and other pathological orders are not natural and they significantly worsen stupor and lead to progression of this speech disorder. There are many other possible ways to develop stuttering. The reason that the stuttering is such a multifaceted disorder is because the situations that people unconsciously attach their stupor behaviors to are simply limitless. And finally, our last question. Is it possible to eliminate stuttering? Absolutely. There is only one way to achieve this relatively simple goal. Only elimination of stupor makes it possible to restore speech skills automatically and with no efforts. How to get rid of stupor? The same way we get rid of any bad habit. We substitute it with a good one. Stutterers simply need to study and understand their incorrect speaking behaviors. Learn and then master new skills of speaking, communication, thinking, attention. The program uh, developed by Roman Snishko is designed for that. This is the only educational program in the world today. This program does not train easy stuttering, no. And it does not leave any option for our clients but the option to eliminate stuttering once and forever. There are several treatment options are explained on our web page. Please go there and study. Uh, livestutterfree.com. However, our program is not a magic bullet. You have to understand that. It is a three-day intensive study course. The success is 100% guaranteed on one condition, that the stutter's conscious, diligent efforts are executed by the power of their own will. Our team has a very ambitious goal to eliminate stuttering from the face of our planet. So thank you very much for listening. If you would like to communicate with me, my Skype name is Anna Dieter. So make a request and I will gladly answer all your questions or concerns. Lots of luck to you. Bye-bye.